Hello YouTube, kind of getting started on the homemade light bar for the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters car I'm working on. Now it's not super bright, but that's because uh, what I'm having to do is build this thing from scratch. And I'm trying to obviously make it to where it doesn't cost you know, a whole lot of money to do it. So I picked up these little party lights that I'm using on the inside. That's what the rotators are. And then I had some spare blue lenses that I'm using and I'm making the base out of wood. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, with the lights on so you can kind of see what I'm up to and show you how I'm building these homemade light bars. Okay, here what I got. You can see where I got the blue lenses and you can see where I got the wood on the bottom. Why it is, I just took some 2 by 4s and I ripped them to create like that, kind of that 45 degree angle shape that the light bars had. Now I'm going to paint all this right here blue to match. Now it's not going to be transparent, but it'll be blue, so I'll have the look. And then the center here, when I build the speaker cover, this will all have like a, I picked up some chrome vinyl decal uh, tape that'll go over this whole thing when I'm done with a piece of metal. And what I'm doing for the lights is I picked up a bunch of these cheap little party lights off eBay. Um, that's why they're not super bright and they're kind of loud. So I just took them apart you know, so I can get them out. Uh, the reason I did that is because I want to link all the lights together and you know once all together so this way when I have one wire come out the bottom and I plug it into a power supply they'll all come out at one time. Here we got see I got the now in the real one they actually only had two rotators and one mirror but with these things being cheap and if I just figured I put three on either side you can see where I'm gonna set them down inside there I'll just link them all together and just have one wire run out the bottom so this way when I uh, go to uh, plug it in all six will come on at the same time and I'm going to do this on the front and the rear light bar. And then I'm going to make a video essentially kind of a step by step of essentially how I'm building these and the way I'm ripping the uh, wood down. Okay, I got it sitting up there. Uh, I still got to make my centerpiece. See where I got the bottom painted blue. But I'm going to show how I made this. Start off by uh, a free cut. You know, some 2x4s. I cut these to 43 inches. And then I ripped a 45 on them. And I cut my end pieces. These turned out to be the width of the lens at 12 and a quarter. But as you see, I ripped an angle on all sides. Which one of them has to be feathered out a little bit once I screw it to the other pieces. I got my base piece, which is just out of a piece of old uh, beadboard, interior beadboard stuff. And then I have my center pieces that go on either side of the lens, and then just some filler pieces. And once you get all the pieces cut, it really doesn't take that long to put together. You just lay your pieces, two by fours on the thing. Got my end piece. I put them upside down so I ain't gonna worry about trying to hold this with the 45 on the really Just put it on here, line the ends up. What I did is I made this bar overall length is 47 inches. Um, I come up with that size because it seemed to work the best with my roof on my car to make sure it didn't get too close to the very edges. So my overall light is 47. Now my bottom, like from this point, where's uh, tapers? to the other side is 45 and a half. There's that part. And all I was doing was uh, putting a little adhesive on the perimeter. Line my piece up. Make sure it's as centered as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's as close as you can possibly get it. 
And I'm using a brad nailer slash stapler with a half inch staples. how that 45 didn't quite line up with the 45 I did on there. So all I'm doing with that is taking a grinder. Obviously to get this shape, I just took a 3 by 4 put it on there, traced it out, cut it. So what I do is I just line my lens up with the edge of, edge of the wood, setting that on there, taking a pencil, that I can't seem to find, and just striking a line. two screws into it there on either side to lock it in place uh, and then I'll cut this filler to fit in between here. What the filler's for is since it has that little flat spot this filler is going to sit right in here like this. So when I create my my dome piece that goes over top the speaker cover I have a, a nice flat spot instead of it coming here and having a hollow area. Okay I got these all screwed on got my filler pieces in there Gave it a quick sanding. All I gotta do now is just paint the blue on there. Make these caps, but I'm not gonna make those caps so I run the wires, cause I'm gonna probably run the wires through the middle or I might do it off one side, I'm not sure just yet. So until I make that decision, I don't wanna put that on because once I'm gonna actually anchor it to where I can't take it back off, there's be no reason to take it back off. So that's essentially the process of what I did to create these light bars. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure of just yet, I'm still working on figuring out, which I will let you all know when I get to that point, is how I'm going to actually hold the lenses on. Now when I do this piece, it's going to overlap, so it'll hold this back side to where I can just kind of slide it underneath and bring it down. But I'm going to hold this side without drilling holes through it. So when I get that figured out, I will show it. Right, well, I got the light bar pretty good. You can see, I was talking about see how loud it is. That's why I'm trying to decide if this is going to be something I'm going to want to, you know, leave on here. I mean, see, yeah, there's, it looks like I'm buying the lenses. It's not terrible. It's not as bright as I was kind of hoping it would be. But, so I still got a few months before Halloween, so I'll make a decision on if I want to continue to use them in this way. But you see what I did where I just took the, the contacts and just sawed the leaves from each one of them. And then have one one centralized thing so I only have one wire coming out of it to power it all up. But, oh, but that's what I have for the light bars at this moment in time. <laughs> 